everyone, this is Indonesia from Indonesia and welcome back to my video. As you can see here, I have food. Okay? Well, today we're going to review this outfit. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, sorry, sorry. Today we're going to learn something new which is responsive website design with the sketch app and XML and CSS from the bootstrap. So, the first one, we need to design in the sketch app and after that, we want to implement the design into the XML template by using the bootstrap framework. Well, check it out. Okay, now we're going to create the design in the sketch app first. And currently, we will working in the Bootstrap framework. So this is the framework that I will show you in the next video. Well, we need to setting the grid first. You know, grid here. I'm going to grid system. And here, there's the guide to make your layout use the Bootstrap grid. It's pretty easy to use now. I'm going to show you how it works. So we're going to the sketch app to create new document but using the template which is the web design and here you will get the desktop XD and desktop tablets and mobile but we only working in the desktop and mobile so here I only use this artboard. I will skip the tablet because uh, most of people use the desktop or mobile okay so I think the tablet is not big different from the des desktop or desktop XD this is the largest screen which is 1440 but this is only the standard screen which is 1024 and this is the mobile which is iPhone X, iPhone 7, iPhone uh, 6 or Android which is the Google Pixel or Samsung, I don't know. Yeah, so this is the standard screen that we can working on it. So I want to save my project first into desktop RVD workshop. Okay, responsive web design workshop. Cool. Now here we will setting the, the grid first into the desktop so click the desktop and go to the view and there's the layout setting okay now the desktop the the width of desktop is 1000 now we're going to google uh, bootstrap documentation here so we are use the md medium device desktop m d okay now here we need to set in the container for uh, 970 with the call md this is how to use the uh, xml class that i will show you in the next video so i will break it into two part of videos so one video for design and one video for coding so here we only to setting the design and in the next video we're going to bootstrap framework okay now we need to set in the container width to 670 and just make sure we make it to the center okay and okay oops it's not center yet we need to make it to the center okay cool now we already have the bootstrap uh, bootstrap grid system and you might want to setting the grid but the actually i never setting my grid into the mobile but if you want to setting it's easy just go to the layout and make it only four column yes only four and the total width maybe 200 xg okay and make it center and oops something wrong with the sketch app i don't know you you see that i already click center but when i okay it's go back to the left and you need to repeat your steps oh my god okay now this is the grid system by the bootstrap framework now i want to create the simple website design it's not really complicated so in this uh in this point you will know how to create the web responsive web design with the sketch app and bootstrap so the design is not really really cool we make it just simple design so here 
I will create new hit a uh, new header like this. So the hack around 450. Now I think 350 is enough. Okay, and then I will remove the border and make it group to the header and make it group again for the background. Okay, and then. I will create the navigation here and create the button here. Okay, now we just need to press shortcut T on your keyboard T to the text and make sure the typeface is Roboto because uh, Bootstrap use the Roboto for default font. So here I will use the regular and just change the font size to 22. No, maybe 18. Okay. And we need to change the color to the white. Oh, it's already white. Okay. And I will change the name, maybe home. Oops, we need to set in the text alignment to the left. And home, and I will give the space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And features 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Downloads 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, X both and the last one is fox okay and I think we need to make it here like this and setting the margin top around 30 is enough now I'm going to hide the layout like this and go to the background and change the color to my favorite color which is blue no mm, it's not really blue i think we can use this color is it's like purple but it's like blue okay and then i just want to create something here like the ornament to make it looks like beautiful so we just need to press v on your keyboard to create the vector and here just like this and like this and like this okay so oops I was wrong sorry just edit again and here here and here okay cool now we just need to remove the border and change the fill color and I want to change the color to the like like this okay and if we zoom it to the 100 and i think i will edit this okay i don't know what this ornament for but i just want to make it yeah you know okay and then I will masking it by rectangle and mask. Okay. Now you got this banner images. Cool. Now I think we need to create the one button here that it's only for the sample. So we can create the button by press rectangle. So you can select the insert and go to the shape and run it. And I'm going to create the button. So just make sure the height of button is 45 and with it depends on your content. So we just need to remove the border and make the radius to 100. Okay. And then I want to change the color to the blue but it's not really blue. Maybe different color. Okay. And I will duplicate this text. Duplicate and here and double click to edit the text maybe set up and move the button here and we got the button here and we need to group it for the button send btn okay and just make it to the center and move to the right and show your layout or grid system and now you got like this okay 
but yeah I think the button is really big so we can make it small maybe 40 is enough okay it's not really big and we can make to the center okay and this is the button and after we create the banner we need to create the dummy content here to to learn how to use the grid system to divide the column and i will divide by three columns okay so 12 divided by 3 is sorry is 4 okay now we create the the item by run the rectangle tool here and i will divide by 4 so this is the item item number 1 and remove the border and change this radius maybe only 20 is enough and change the size maybe 180 okay and then i want to use the gradient color i can use this mm, maybe i will use the, the another color no i think this no I will use this but I will change this color I will change the color oh it's not really good okay and change the direction right here okay and then I will create it as the picture picture one okay so the item one is we have the picture one here and we need to create the text simple text here by press T on your keyboard this is the the item number one and we need to change the color to the black like this okay and I think the font size is 22 Okay, and setting the margin maybe 16 is sorry 15 is enough and I want to duplicate this item and make it to the center like this so as you can see the grid is divided by three columns here I will show you okay so we have the four uh, three item so if you divide by three item there's there's only uh, four column it's the it's the item okay but if you divide by four item there's only uh, three column it's the the item okay so this is the item number two and i should change this to the picture number two and i should change the color to the another color so I will start with the blue and the second color maybe we can use purple like this and don't forget to change this item to item number 2 oops it's not 22 okay and the last one is item uh, picture number 3 and this is should be 3 and the color is should be different maybe we can use the red color with the yellow and now I'm going to change this item to the tree okay so we already divide by three columns now I think you can duplicate this item just common D and just duplicate like this okay and if you want to change this content you just need to change this content and I already make the little change to make it random okay and then we just need to go to the mobile version okay 
we should remove the layout first just hidden and then select this header but only for the background okay just copy and paste and make it to the center and then i will move to the top like this okay and if you want to change the size you just need to like this okay and you might think how about the menu the menu is pretty easy you just need to click here and by use the rounded rectangle tool or you and create this uh, it's called toggle menu and the radius is only three uh, no no six okay and remove the fill color and just use the border color with the white color and it's only around 30 no 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 maybe 40 okay and i will move the position like this and i will give the name is toggle okay and inside of the toggle there's the hamburger menu maybe you're familiar with the hamburger menu which is the for the menu so i'm going to use the icon font and there's the hamburger menu as you can see here so whenever you click this menu it shows the menu that i will show you we're going to the bootstrap documentation now i'm looking for the components Uh, sorry sorry uh, there's different components so we are we will use the bootstrap 3.3 and this is bootstrap 4.0 but I'm gonna to show you about the simple uh, about the sample of the hamburger menu in the web design so whenever I resist this there's the menu like this as you can see okay cool now we going to next again and then I just want to copy this copy and paste it and here but make sure the layout is okay so here we should resize yeah and this item is not again it's not 22 again maybe 18 yeah Okay, so you just need to repeat it, it, and finish. Well, we are ready to create the simple website design for responsive website design. R W D, responsive website design. This is the desktop version for the standard screen, and this is the mobile version with the standard screen. And after we we are uh, after we design these screens, we will use the Bootstrap yeah you will learn how to code with the bootstrap framework to make this design into the html templates but firstly we need to select this header background and export yeah we're going to desktop to create the assets and this is called bg header and then we just need to select this item for the picture number one and this is picture number two and this is picture number three okay yeah the actually we just need background and the picture and most of them we can use from the bootstrap framework it's pretty easy that i will show you in the next video so if you don't have the sketch app i will prepare the assets so you can learn how to code with me in the bootstrap framework well thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video goodbye